Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Growing Clip Bonsais for Seniors. It's about 6.35 in the evening. Today is February 27th of 2023. It's Monday evening, 48 degrees Fahrenheit or 8.9 degrees Celsius, and it rained most of the day. Sun popped out and cloudy, but it was a day to remember. So, today, we, I well, I really got six stubs free yesterday of points of... Uh, poinsettias well, I didn't write down so what I'm gonna do, try to do is repot it in uh, sun grow black gold cactus mix and like in a forest type setting and these are just the stubs because at Christmas time a lot of the poinsettias were donated to the church they were getting rid of a lot of them so I grabbed let's see six of them and you says Tom it's got to be an odd number ah who says so you can put three in a corner. No, you can put five in a corner and two in a corner for a setting. Or you can put five and one. Or you can put uh, three, two, and a one just to break up the forest. I mean, you can do anything. But let's see if these stubs will grow. So these are the stubs that I got. So let's start taking them out. I got my bucket here for the soil. And because I don't have room to do all this in water, I'm gonna do it regular. But remember how you used to have these old uh, steak forks to turn the steaks over back in the day? Well, I found my mom and dad's old steak fork. <laughs> so we're gonna use that as a, a root rake. So I'm gonna take this out. I don't know what's in it, how many roots it's got, there we go, and we're just going to take it apart, now they clipped them all, so they harden off, and usually, usually with poinsettias, is that when you do clip them, what causes them to turn black and, and uh, die is the sap itself on them so I got some two that are good and I'm gonna we'll do those another day and I'll show you what I'm gonna do to try to prevent the, the blackness from killing them and see they got these grow plugs in there so we're just gonna take it apart do the best we can Put the soil down. Here's a lot of soil. Okay, Tom. What are we gonna do? That first, first, we'll cut some of the roots off on the bottom. Just like that. Ah, you're not seeing what I'm doing. Tom, you're a knucklehead. Just like that old song. See you later, alligator, after a while, crocodile. I don't know how many of you guys remember that. Ah, it's showing how young you are. <laughs> so, let's put this guy down here. Take this out. Put the pots, save the pots. Can always use them. And take this, and yes, I washed it. And we're just going to dig, 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 dig. And you can see it's got a nice fast draining mix and you can see the plug the plug that you got to take off so even if you got uh, two points poinsettias you can always make it a, a forest setting where a little stream between them it's got one part of the forest and another part of the forest I mean, why not? It doesn't have to be that way. You can always split it up. Hey, if you ain't got the the right amount, all you gotta do improvise. Hmm. Will we fill my bucket up? That's all I gotta do is take this all apart. And it's got a nice root system. So hopefully they'll all live, and if they don't live, well, at least we tried. We can always fix the forest up different. 
make a little gully or something to divide it. Oh, can you see it? Ah, time you make a better door than a window. Let's get you in closer here and get my back out of your way. So we're just going to take it off the best we can. Take some of this, whatever it is they used. I don't know, these look like uh, a form of uh, pellet, but I know some use old rubber tires. They found a way to make pellets out of them. So let's take some of these downward facing roots out of the way. Okay, so that's another one. Okay. I don't know, I should have did it all before, but you gotta see what it cur curtails on here. And look how nice and fluffy the soil. So whatever grower they got these poinsettias from for the church is pretty good. And you can see that they were all rooted in this core type thing, whatever it is. You know, it feels spongy, it doesn't feel you know, it feels a little spongy to me. So exactly what it is, no idea. So just this thing works good gets in there real good who needs a root rake go find yourself your old meat steak forks <laughs> to turn the steak over on the grill or on the barbecue or wherever okay Tom this one's not cutting good I should have sharpened it so we're gonna have to use this guy just like that that's four Four down and two to go. Just like the old show, Beat the Clock. I don't know if you guys remember that one. That was another good show to watch. For a $64,000 question. <laughs> back then, money was... That was big money back then. That was like one in a million dollars almost. I mean... Everything with inflation goes up, so... Things get tighter and tighter. So if you can get some free poinsettias, if you, your church is getting rid of the old old plants, they don't want it. Ask them if you can have it before they throw it in the garbage. There we go. There. Look at that one. That one I know is green. And so it's a Good thing I got this bigger bucket because one more to do it. One more should do it. Now this one's a little bit drier when I got it. So it might be a little tougher to get out. Maybe not. There we go. Don't be afraid to go in there and just scrunch up the soil. With this fork like this who needs a fancy root rake? So, I don't even know if they sell these things anymore. They might. Probably for barbecue. But, I don't eat meat anymore. I just have fish. Tilapia or salmon get rid of the arthritis. So, just as good. Let's cut this bed that's stick off. There we go, just like that. Don't be afraid to dig in. You see people throwing these out, grab them. Give it a shot. Look at the root system on that. That's a root system and a half. And they say when you cut on the bottom that the roots heal I don't know, two or three times faster than the, in the soil than out of the soil. Or, ah, I forgot how they put it. But, there. 
and you can see this big yeah I don't know it's like a sponge type material it's not peat so they're probably going with cheaper methods of propagating to save on prices so they can pass the savings on to you but who knows okay so we got our six or you can make a three and three Let's see if it'll fit in this guy. They should. Maybe not. Uh, let's see. I don't know if I have something wide enough. Well, what we're going to do to fit it, we're going to have to cut it a little smaller. All right, Kevin, I'm not going to get in your way. So we're just going to get more of this off so we can see our structure. Just like that. There. We got most of the soil off on this one. If you can see it. And we're just going to cut it back a little more. Get that big root off. Get that off. We want to make it a little bit compact so we can fit it. And this stuff on the top is really something, but it's got a nice little root flare there, so that's good. Yep, get your hands dirty. We were kids once. Let's get our hands dirty. <laughs> Why not? Okay, so now we just boom, 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 boom. Get it in there, get it in there. Get that soil out of there. Don't be afraid. They're free, but they'll live. Gotta be positive. There we go, just like that. A lot of people throw them out. You can ask your friends and neighbors, hey, if you got poinsettia, don't throw it out. Give it to me. I want to try growing it as a bonsai tree. Look at Nigel Saunders, how good he makes his trees. His poinsettias. So, there we go. Got another one that's a big one in the back. This one here, we gotta get that sponge type material off. And you know what tonight is? Today is Monday, and that's comedy night. And I'm still enjoying some of them good old Armus Brooks radio shows. There we go. And then there's, then there's good old Jack Benny, Burns and Allen. Gracie's a card, I'll tell you that. She's a, she's good at what she does. She's the, her and, and George are great comedians. <laughs> and don't forget William Bendix, Life of Riley. That was another good show. Look at all these roots on here. I cut it so we got a nice flat root base. And trim it. There we go. I don't know, you can see, I don't know, this is like a sponge type material. It's really crazy. But it falls apart good. I know now they're making plugs out of old tires. But I'll tell you what, them plugs are hard to get off. But I guess it's cheaper. And they save money on... On... Uh, rooting all these these trees and whatever they have to root look how nice this thing is see it's strong it's not like that other fork you know where they got the, the four or five prongs on there so what grows grows let's cut this back a little bit just like that you want them to fit in that little pot. Now, if you're growing them in the house, don't grow your poinsettias in the kitchen because the gas screws them up. They just, you know, when you're cooking, if you got a gas stove, it just goofs them up. And then they die from it. 
And they say they don't like drafts. So how do they grow in the wild? I guess it's drafts from air conditioning and fans in the house, constant blowing like that. But there you go. Just go in there and fire your your fork in. Look at that. That's a good man. I'm glad I found this one. I ain't gonna throw this out. There we go. Cut it so we can get a nice flat root base here. Cut some of these top ones off. Just so we can fit it in and see what we get out of it. So there's another one. They're half dried, but poinsettias usually die from being dried out. They say put a lot of peat moss around the roots. But right now, I'm going to use the other mix. So let's get our pot. And I got a mess over here from all the soil falling on the on the old container here with the cactus mix. And I'm going to sprinkle this in. I think I need my bigger cup. There we go. Let's get this up. And I think I'll put two packs of the root packs in. And you can see, oh, I should have showed it to you, the bacteria does run. Because I see it growing on my, by my, uh, my lemon tree. Because I didn't put them deep and you can see the white growing. The ba beneficial bacteria growing. The micro is a good stuff. Okay, so now, let me give the bottom a little squirt. And let's position them. I can put this big one back here. And this little one up front, towards the front here. And this one over here. And this guy over here, and this big guy over here, and this guy, let's put him in the middle so we can separate. So I want to get that root pack there. And what I'll do is I'll get another root pack into here. Because I want these roots to grow. There we go. Now we're going to put this one right here. Let's give it a little spritz because the soil on the bottom is dry. And we can put this little guy here. So now you're going to have your five just in a helter-skelter way. And then we'll make a little path in here. So you can see, okay, let's get this guy here, get this guy by the roots on this one, our root packs, get our roots in. Okay, little buddy, up you go. And whatever roots are sticking out, we'll just cut it, cut it, cut it. And don't forget, when spring's coming and people start having sales outside, look for the, your turntables. They'll be getting rid of them. Now. Now. Now, 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 now. We gotta get this in. Just like that. Oh, fell down. Timber. Down. Use a little cup. Okay, let's go. Let's get cracking here because I don't want to keep you guys all night. There. Don't be afraid, stagger them. 
these are staggered even if they're off, if they're off by a, a, a fraction of about a half an inch or a quarter inch or whatever or a milliliter or a millimeter or a centimeter ah, I ain't good at metric I guess I gotta learn. That's why I'm doing all that, and I can find out what the height and stuff grows on everything I put it in, in both metric and English. Okay, now we got that, and now let's get our bamboo skewer and fire it in. Fire that soil into the roots. Just fire it in, but don't take the plant out. <laughs> yeah, today is it time? Now I gotta get some more soil on that little guy. That one's stuck on the root. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Fire that that skewer in because these are fine roots. That's why I'm using the bamboo skewer okay we we'll get this guy back here oh we still got more of this goofy stuff on there look at that man that stuff's a a real kooka belly to get off over the root pack there and we go there okay remember just fire it in fire it in fire it in now we're gonna take the surface tension out because it's a little dry and no, I didn't get them all covered yet but what I do is I like to wet them with Mr. Elephant here Water in that soil pretty good. There we go. Just like that. And then, so we got that back there. There's an empty space there. Well, you got, you wanted an odd number, I'll give you five and one. Like six. <laughs> A little math lesson today, everybody. Ah, what are you gonna do? That's life. Get our our points in, see if they're gonna take off. And I do it at night because this way here they're out of stress. You can see this root is is going out on itself, so I'm just gonna take that off right there. It's curling around. Get all our soil in and just go after it. When in doubt, just do it. Don't think about it. Unless you're designing something, you want to think about it. But if you're afraid to do it, don't be afraid. Just go after it. Get it done. Sometimes you can think yourself out of making something good. Now we can have our forest this way too. Look at that. I have the river coming this way. Well, we'll see what we can do on that. Okay, let's get all this in. Spray it in. And as you can see, no water's running out yet because this soil is dry and Mr. Elephant's giving it a good watering. There we go. Just like that. Don't be afraid. And if they make it, they make it. I mean, we try. It's free. Whatever makes it, makes it. Get 
cutting. And that's why God made shirts. I don't know what I did with my towels. Ah, found one. I know you're supposed to do it, but just let like when black and white TV was out, it was live TV, no recording. Whatever they goofed up, they had to ad lib it, right? <laughs> yeah. There you go. Now let's put some of our top dressing on. Just like that. Get it in. Just like that. Get it in. With the long spoon, you can get into your forest. Just like that. So it's up out of the pot a little bit. Who says it's got to be even? That's your design. Sure, it's got to be a little even because you don't want it to flow out of the pot and all over the place. But in this case, with the short amount of time I got to do videos on this tablet, I have to be fast. Because who knows if it's going to cut out. there. Now, now what are we going to do down here to separate our forest? Okay, Tom. Let's get our rocks. And we're going to put some coming down, stagger-like, because that's how the water flows. I mean, sometimes the rocks are washed down. There we go. Get that one in there pretty good. Let's get these guys in there nice. Just like that. Coming in there, meandering in the rocks. There. We can have this built up over here. Like they're coming out of a waterfall. Uh, what do you call it? Out of a spring out of the ground. And you're going to say, Tom, all the rocks ain't the same color. Who cares? Tell that to nature. <laughs> a lot of the rocks ain't all the same color. Okay, now we're going to take our spoon and we can make it like a shoreline here. Coming in. And this will be where it's Flooding in. Just like that. Just something to break up the monotony, so to say. Okay, Tom, what'd you do with your the rest of your water? I gotta buy another bag of water. This stuff works out pretty good. Okay, put that guy there. Then, you can see this stuff is like a nice light blue. Once you water it, it'll turn a nice dark blue. So that's how it's coming out of the spring back there. And this is like, po this is polished glass. It's uh, sand size, but it's polished glass because it rolls. There we go. That's how the stream meanders down over the bank, hits the rocks. It doesn't necessarily stay in one spot. Wherever it wants to go, it goes. You can see the, the little indentation there. And we can put it a little bit back here. Just like that. See that? Something different. Now, let's get Mr. Spoon over here. Now, let's see how we got it. Let's wet it in real good. I'll take Mr. Spoon and push it in. There we go. Don't be afraid. You goof up, you goof up. You take it apart and start all over again. If they all die, well, we tried. 
but hopefully they'll turn out good and with them the Nikos wood packs they should turn out pretty good what else can we stick in there let's me look in our little box of trinkets here well is this house good a little house in the background just like that and since that's deep in the background we could put a squirrel here into the forest I think that would be good and we'll put another squirrel over here I can't have them all sitting so here's one stand that, uh, I mean, Neilan, this one's over here. And that house is in the background. So, so, I gotta put a little bit more over here. And, are we still rolling? Yeah, holy cow. Half hour, I didn't want to keep you guys that long. But here's our finished product. See? Out of an odd number, you got a force and another started a force that way. But that's what you can do. And they wet it a little more. Don't forget to get yourself a nice cup of tea tonight. Put on some good old comedy shows, old time radio comedy shows, or some of the old shows from the 50s. TV shows, the black and white comedies with Red Skeleton. He was good. I liked Red Skeleton. <laughs> He'd always say, duck, here comes a flock of them. <laughs> okay, so there's our poinsettia for us. I won't keep you guys long. Take care. Have a good night. Comedy night. Cup of tea. Sit down and relax in your favorite chair. And don't forget, don't, don't be afraid. Give it a shot. If the tree's a little crooked, ah, what are you going to do? They're not all straight in the forest anyway. Take care, everybody.